Welcome back to Physics with Mr. McQuarrie. Today we're going to be talking about finding displacement in distance from velocity versus time graph. Here's our graph over here. We have velocity in the y. We have time in the x-axis. And we're going to be tasked with finding, let's do displacement first. Okay, now displacement is basically how far you've traveled in a certain direction. And we only care about the beginning and the end, right? So an example might be to find the displacement from, let's just say from six seconds to eight seconds. So when we had a position versus time, we could just look at those two points and say, okay, we've traveled this far. We would have said we started here at negative five, we went to zero. Oh, look, we've gone five. But that's not the case with velocity versus time. Because you're not looking at where something is positioned, you're looking at how fast something is traveling, okay? So if you're gonna find the displacement, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. And one of them is with the kinematic equations. We're gonna do a simpler method. We're gonna find the integral or the area underneath the curve. So we're gonna find the area under the curve from six to eight seconds, which looks like from this dot to this plot dot over here, we're finding the area inside that little triangle there from your curve, or in this case, a line, to your axis, okay? Now, we all remember the area of a triangle, so this shouldn't be too bad. The area of a triangle is one half your base times your height. And it's not always gonna be a triangle in these problems. Sometimes you might have a rectangle or a trapezoid to figure out. Our base in this case, Looks like it is from six to eight, so it is two. Our height is from zero to negative five. And when we simplify that, we have an area of negative five. Now, the question is, what do we do about units? Well, the question is asking for displacement, and displacement units are in meters, all right? One of the questions you might have right now is why is it negative? Well, consider the graph over here. That entire triangle is below the x-axis. Therefore, it's traveling to the left, aka backwards, right? So that negative lets us know that you traveled in that left direction, negative five, which is very different from positive five. If you found it maybe up here somewhere in this area, you would have had a positive answer, okay? So if you ask to find displacement, you can find the area. If you want to learn more about velocity versus time graphs, we have videos on calculating acceleration, displacement, and identifying the instantaneous velocity. Till next time, see ya.